Namaste. So as you probably noticed, I set all my videos to unlisted and I disabled comment on all of them, except this one. So the only way for you to access the previous videos is to go to the playlist tab on my channel and find the playlist that you want to look at because they're all meant to be watched in playlist form anyway. Uh, not just one here and one there, but in series. So I was going to nuke the channel completely, tell you the truth, and just walk away because it's a time in my life when I've achieved all my goals and aims. And I have really nothing in terms of spiritual life. Uh, I have nothing more to do. I'm complete. I'm satisfied. So this channel so far has been sort of like a diary of the different stages of the path that I went through. And if you watch the video series in chronological order, which really you should do to understand properly, it begins with the foundation series, matrix learning, being integrity, being in the world, and so on and so forth. So I guess you want to know why, huh? Well, besides my internal reasons, the external reasons are I'm not getting the kind of response that I really want from this channel. I'm not meeting the kind of people that I want to meet through this channel. I'm getting a lot of noobs, you know, a lot of clueless beginners. And the people who, who do write me, write me two or three times, and that's it. I never hear from them again. So, you know, really they have no dedication, uh, no determination. Uh, they certainly haven't chosen to have an ongoing relationship. So that doesn't meet my needs, doesn't meet my criteria for the kind of people that I want to be related with. Uh, I have good friends here, and I have a beautiful ashram, newly renovated, twin towers, three stories each, huge place. And uh, I'm the only person who lives here because <laughs> other than the owners and uh, sponsors and the other people who support me. Uh, really, there hasn't been anybody that I would find, you know, nice to have around or nice to be with. I'm sorry. So I haven't invited anyone. And at this point, if I did invite anybody, they would have to give a substantial security deposit and a background check and so many other things. Why is that? Well, not only does this channel seem to attract a lot of newbies and uh, people of, how shall I say, limited intellectual uh, power, <laughs> it also attracts a lot of trolls. And there's been a, a consistent problem over the years with a particular group of trolls who have been very, very destructive and nasty. So let me run that story down for you so you understand. Some time ago, the Dalai Lama was uh, very upset with the Western Buddhist community due to the scandal around Chogyang Trungpa. Chogyang Trungpa was uh, a reincarnation, supposedly, of an ancient Lama and he was uh, pretty much allowed to do whatever he wanted. And so he did. And he was notorious for his wild parties that would go on for days and uh, with drinking and drugs and wild sex and so on like this. And this was all part of his crazy wisdom, uh, Tantra. So after he passed on, at a young age, 
can't imagine why that would happen. <clears throat> um, the Dalai Lama called a meeting of all the Western Buddhist leaders. And I think something like 33 or 36 showed up. I've got links to all the historical sources in the description of this video. So if you really want to get the background and dig into it, uh, the, the information is there on the internet. Now, you probably don't know this, but the CIA, one of their uh, volunteer missions, uh, their self-appointed tasks, is to monitor and control religious activities on the planet. And the Dalai Lama has been, this is publicly known information, he's been on their payroll since the 1950s. Why? Because he's a pawn in the game against China. So anyway, the Dalai Lama called all these Buddhist leaders to Dharmasala, and he said, okay, we got to do something about this unauthorized teaching of Tantra in the West. And he drafted a letter, and he got all of these leaders to sign it, and then he refused to sign it. <laughs> so it made it look like these leaders themselves were taking the initiative when actually it was coming from him. Tricky guy, huh? And so basically this letter said, anyone who is teaching Tantra, what is called Tantra, outside of the Galugpa lineage, in other words, anyone who's not Tibetan and can be controlled, you are to dig up the dirt on them and publicize it. Okay, and this was all worded in such a way that it sounded, you know, very, very nice, you know, any teachers who do not meet standards of behavior and blah, 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 blah. In other words, anybody that doesn't agree with the way we th see things and the way we do things is to be censured publicly. And of course, being Westerners and being passionate and being uh, trained up in two-valued logic, <laughs> they took this to an extreme. And basically what they did is they formed a vigilante network and a blacklist. And anyone who gets their name on this blacklist is relentlessly stalked and harassed online and in real life. I'll tell you how, here's how bad it is. When I was teaching in Nepal a couple years ago, they sent a guy from Dubai to crash the classes and inform all the students about my terrible past. <laughs> what is my terrible past? When I was a guru in India in 2011, some of my students requested me to teach them Tantra, my version of Tantra, okay? So I did. I took them for a one-month retreat, and I showed them so many techniques and like that. Someone paid a lot of money to exfiltrate the photos from this retreat and then was distributing them on the internet as revenge porn. They also tried to use these photos to blackmail me and extort money from me. And I have proof of all of this, and so do my lawyers. Then, oh, is it gets even better. <laughs> Anytime I would post on any kind of a forum, public forum, these guys would show up and they would post a whole bunch of black propaganda. Basically, a phony story, a fictitious story made up around these photographs to make it look like I was doing non-consensual things to my students. Now, the funny thing about this is they never mentioned the students' names. 
and they never post any complaints from the students. And the reason for this is the students don't have any complaints. <laughs> the students were perfectly happy. In fact, they were overjoyed with that teaching. So this is why there has never been any attempt at legal uh, harassment using the legal system because it would never hold up in court. The, the people who attended the workshop, this, uh, this retreat, would give a deposition or come on the witness stand and say, hey, we, we thought it was great. We liked it. It was all consensual. He explained everything before we, we started, and he did exactly what he said he was going to do, and we were very happy with the result. Finished, thrown out of court. <laughs> so they have never attempted to um, harass me by misusing the legal system. However, they have, on the internet, stalked me, distributed revenge porn about me, and uh, used this phony story that they made up about what actually happened in that retreat uh, to basically interfere with my relationships with the people, uh, my audience, on the internet. So if you have been following this channel closely, you may have seen some of their comments. Of course, as soon as they try to comment, I ban them. You know, I don't leave the comments there and I don't answer them because quite frankly, they don't deserve it. And I've made a few comments that you might have noticed that I wish my friends were as dedicated as my enemies <laughs> because they keep following me around and it's been like seven years now. So enough is enough. Um, anyone who um, is contacted by these people, generally they're not too bright. So they believe the accusations without checking with me for my side of the story or to question their so-called evidence to see if it's really authentic. Now, I had one friend, a Buddhist monk, who actually was a legal advocate for his particular lineage. And they contacted him. And he started asking tough questions. Huh? And they folded, man. They just, they ran away. They left him alone because they realized their story is bullshit and would never stand any kind of close scrutiny. But most people aren't so, um, how can I say, so sharp. Uh, they don't have all the gears turning upstairs. Uh, they're not sufficiently skeptical. And they also actually, deep down inside, want to see highly evolved people fall down. Because they have failed in their meditation, and they don't believe that anyone can actually succeed in meditation. So if there's somebody who apparently has, and then someone digs up dirt on them and ruins their reputation, they're actually secretly uh, enjoying that. Oh, look, just see another phony guy. Isn't that nice? People are so nice. Huh? So as a result, this is a time where the bad people are in ascendance and the good people are in retreat. So I don't really see an opportunity now to establish any kind of organization or teach students uh, closely, personally, the way I would like to. So I'm just withdrawing. I have, you know, I have a life. I have a lot of things I want to do. Even at 71 years old, I'm still uh, quite youthful and I just want to enjoy life. So I, I do. <laughs> And I don't need all this controversy, so I'm simply bowing out, withdrawing from the game. And if you like, you can follow the links I've given, and you can approach these guys yourself and tell them what you think of them. Om Tatsat. Om Harihi Om.